Hi, I'm Julian Segan from Melbourne, Australia, reporting here from Philadelphia at the ACR Convergence 2022 for Room Now. I want to talk to you about abstract number 916, should patients with rheumatoid arthritis with controlled disease taper methotrexate from targeted therapy or continue it, uh, risk differences in sustained remission uh, from a systematic review and meta-analysis. So this is a systematic uh, review and meta-analysis looking at tapering methotrexate from either biologic therapies or targeted synthetic DMARDs. I think it's probably fair to say that methotrexate is not our patients' favourite medications. Uh, in a lot it can be associated with significant side effects and many of our patients will continue taking it and just putting up with it uh, just because us as doctors tell them to. So the aim of this review was to try and determine what the percentage of patients uh, who have a flare after tapering or stopping abruptly methotrexate whilst taking a targeted synthetic uh, uh, disease modifying agent or a biologic medication. Uh, so 10 studies were included in this systematic uh, review and meta-analysis. There were three which included etanercept, uh, three for tocilizumab and one each for tofacitinib, sertilizumab, adalimumab and abatacept. There were over 2,000 patients that were included in the final, final meta-analysis. Um, there were, of course, differences in taper strategies uh, between the studies, which limits uh, the uh, applicability somewhat uh, for the overall meta-analysis. Uh, the main result was that there was a 10% reduced chance of remaining in remission in those who tapered methotrexate compared to those who continued methotrexate over the course of one year. Uh, in the study from Cohen and colleagues, uh, quite interestingly, uh, there was actually no significant difference uh, between tapering methotrexate and not tapering methotrexate in patients uh, who were taking tofacitinib. And so that suggests that perhaps there are differences in the uh, mechanism of action uh, when considering tapering methotrexate from a targeted agent. Uh, it would be really good to have more studies which looked at this question, uh, whether tapering some of our other disease modifying agents uh, allows us to remain uh, in disease control, uh, really because um, some of these medications have side effects and our patients don't really want to be taking lots of extra medications if they don't have to be. Um, there's also significant debate about whether methotrexate should be the uh, disease modifying agent tapered before targeted synthetic medications or uh, biologic DMARs. And uh, these are uh, questions to be answered in future studies as well as health economic analyses. Uh, we welcome more data in the area and I look forward to reading the full uh, systematic review and meta-analysis. Uh, for more uh, information on rheumatoid arthritis, visit roomnow.com. I'm Dr Julian Segan from Melbourne, Australia.